In this video, I'm going to be going over making custom models and how to properly set the metadata up for them. Let's say you have just a random model here. I'm just going to add some random details. Let's say this is your model that you want to export. First, what you're going to need to do, or first what I'm going to do is just rename this. And then first you're going to add a solemn shader depending on the texture maps you have uh you're going to use a different shader but for this one we're just going to use a default shader which is just the diffuse texture so uh with the end toolbar go ahead and go to drawables and then shader tools and here under create just click the create uh default here and then click create shader material then under the shading tab, we can go ahead and um, open up our texture. I'm just going to click a random one just so it'll work for the demonstration. I'm just going to UV unwrap this real quick. Create it smooth, I guess. Then now, let's say this is the model. You have it textured with proper materials and whatnot. Now to properly set it up, what we need to do is select it, click V or press V and click convert to drawable. And then you'll see here it'll um it adds a new empty and then parents it to it. This is because this is the drawable and this is the drawable model. Then with our drawable selected, we can go ahead and open up the toolbar again, go to archetype definitions. Then click the plus here on the right. We can just double click this to rename it. And then name it something like this. We can expand this drop down for archetypes. And then click auto create from selected. Um, you'll notice here we have the name, the special attributes, and then so on. Uh, the texture dictionary, we're just going to embed it. So, do so. What we're going to do is select the mesh the materials tab here and then we're just going to click embedded here then back to the y type we're just going to copy the the archetype name and paste it into the texture dictionary it's not always going to be like this but this is only if you're using embedded textures which i am for this demonstration so now what we can do is go ahead and click export And then select our drawable, click export as well. You can do this from the V menu. And then we can just go ahead and drag our XMLs into Code Walker. You'll see here our model shows up. And we're free to use this into a new Y map or existing Y maps. 